Bird could just let his servants deal with the rioting slaves, but he likes to do it personally. Everyone looks in horror and disgust as Kermit orders his steak well done. This. This is the face of Satan. As he waits for the motorcade of Archduke Franz Ferdinand to round the corner, Bert prepares to change the course of human history forever. Cookie Monster happily helped preparing the birthday cake for Ernie's girlfriend, until he saw the number of candles on it. Elmo pulls the halo off of an angel and watches them fall into the depths of hell. Bert and Ernie dress up as goats in an attempt to catfish Arab men. Elmo gives the last beluga whale a farewell kiss before shooting it fulfilling his dream of hunting a species to extinction. As the roofies begin to kick in, Bert nibbles on Ernie's ear, and the Count removes his pants. Today is not Ernie's day. Bert's stay out in the park is ruined when a communist walks by. Cookie Monster is visited by a version of himself from a reality where he wasn't fucking retarded. To show them that he is not racist, Big Bird whips his slaves to the rhythm of Michael Jackson's Beat It. Farmer Ernie says the only difference between a good meal and a good time is where you put the cucumber. It usually takes more than a back alley hand job to get Elmo off, but this broad was special. Big Bird imagines a world with no hunger, no prejudice, no religion, no hate, nothing to kill or die for, and then tries not to vomit. The children are fast, but Big Bird is faster. For mocking his people's slavery under the pharaohs, the Count uses his vile Jew sorcery to directly attack <laughs> It's crap. Uses his vile Jew sorcery to it. Fucking <laughs> goddamn. The count uses his. It's such a fucking. Uses his. The count uses his vile Jew sorcery to directly attack Bert's credit score. Bert is amazed as the man who was threatening to jump actually did the backflip Ernie had requested. Man, I wonder what he's playing on the trumpet. Uh, oh, I can actually just click. Uh, yeah, okay. Ernie tries to convince his friend that life is still worth living even if they killed off his waifu in the anime. Cookie Monster's dream of being an Uber driver is quickly shattered by the realization that everyone in his world lives on the same fucking street. Despite the fact the war in Vietnam had been over for at least 40 years, Bert and Ernie ambush unsuspecting gooks in a Los Angeles park. The Count didn't get the memo that just having a cool hairdo doesn't mean he can say the n-word as he pleases. Kermit begins to realize what made Mr. Cosby's barbecue sauce so special as the effects of paralysis analysis start to kick in. To Ernie's surprise, the little girls of today know how to defend themselves against predators. Ernie tries to trigger Bert's PTSD by showing him a drawing of a tree while talking in Vietnamese. A horrifying snapshot of Big Bird moments before impact after jumping from a 14th story balcony. Elmo shows Abby the quickest way to kill a turkey. Kermit's depression makes him isolate away from his friends and family, driving him ever closer to finally committing suicide. Well, Bert, I looked everywhere. I even got out this magnifying glass, but I'm afraid I couldn't even find the tiniest fuck to give about your cancer diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs>